Hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to the logical journey of the Zumbinis. If my voice sounds a little deeper today, it's because I am recovering from a sore throat, but that should not affect my commentary. So, we're on for, off for another exciting adventure of Zumbinis, because we're going to reattempt the first world on a higher difficulty. So that'll be pretty cool. So let's start just making some guys, and actually doing what I'm doing here is faster than doing the randomly make a bunch of guys. Alright. Now, let's see. I should make some... Per I sh I'll personally make a few. Yeah, I like that. Like that. And then we'll... Oh, yeah. We gotta have some cool guys for sunglasses. All right, let's go. It seems one of the allergic cliffs has built up immunity at last. Now Zumbinis with one of two features may pass. So we're back in the big, the bad, and the hungry, but this time on the second difficulty, oh so hard. And we're back to these allergic cliffs again, so let's see what this is all about. Allergic cliffs level 2. The allergic cliffs play by certain rules. What one cliff accepts, the other is allergic to. Look for the two different types of the same attribute, such as red and green noses, that do not cause an allergic reaction. So this is basically a step above the last time, whereas in the last one there was a, sp a specific feature that caused an allergic reaction. Here there are two features of the same type. So it could be two different colored noses, or it could be glasses and sunglasses, or green hat hair and spiky hair. It's, it's hard to tell. So let's see what this is all about. Also, I believe this is where Ivor Cliff could be the one who has the allergies. Alright, well, let's try him. Alright, alright. Uh oh, he didn't like that. So at this point, it could be he's allergic to bald heads, or it could be these two Zumbinis had a feature that that one was allergic to and he accepts. So let's try putting our bald headed guys down this way. Alright, seemed to work. So it seems spiky hair is okay in his book. Uh oh. So it's definitely hair is the def uh, defining feature here. So I guess all uh, green hat hairs go up there. Now the question is, was he allergic to bald heads and green hat hair, or was this cliff allergic to spiky hair? Let's find out. Okay. So it's actually this cliff was allergic to spiky hair and bowl cuts, and that guy only accepted spiky hair and bowl cuts. But we still have the six pegs, so it wasn't too hard. You did it! You saved them all! Woohoo! These stone guards have their rules, so do proceed with skill. Zumbini's one guard won't allow. The other guard surely will. You'll also see it's there's now a yellow path overriding the green path we took before. <laughs> That's just there to symbolize the much tougher difficulty that it's at now. They're blue. Yes, they are, Onyx. And we're back in the Stone Cold Caves. Stone Cold Caves, level 2. The cave guardians have a reaction to the certain Zumbinis just like the allergic cliffs. What one guardian likes, the others do not. For example, if the left guardian accepts spring feet, the right guardian will reject this feature. The same goes for the upper and lower guardians. For each pair of guardians, look out for two features that a guardian accepts or rejects. Try figuring out what the right or left guardians like first, and then try the upper or lower guardians. So this one is significantly more difficult, because now not only are the upper and lower guardians in commission, but every guard has two features that they will either accept or reject. So that's going to be tough. 
Ouch. Bye-bye. <laughs> that was rude. Okay, by me. Thanks for coming. All right, maybe she likes roller skates. Well, that's not it. Nope. Maybe he likes roller skates. Well, you're nope. Okay. Not all doors are open to you. Okay, that's interesting because we share two <laughs> common traits, and he had to go into the opposite cavern of me. Step in. So clearly, it's sunglasses and bushy hair that okay. these guys like. Have a good time. How about your sunglasses? Nope. <laughs> so apparently she likes sunglasses and he does not. Sure. Many try, few succeed. Well, why not? All right, all right. Well, she also has sunglasses and green hat hair, so that cavern is for them. All right, and he has glasses and bald head. He has glasses and spiky hair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You'll do. Uh-oh. Wrong way. Okay, it appears that she rejects spiky hair and he accepts spiky hair. She Go rejects on. glasses, he accepts glasses. Enjoy yourself. Okay. So this guy is spiky hair. How about him? Can't let you in. Mm, okay. All right, cool. And generally speaking, on these later difficulties, every cavern will hold four of the 16 Zumbinis, so every cavern should have four Zumbinis in it at the end? I believe. I could be wrong about that, though. All right. I bet she's going to go up here. Go ahead! Go ahead! Because she had glasses, so she has to go on that side, but she has green hat hair, so she has to go up. Proceed! And likewise, you can go up here. And you can go up here. And I'm guessing she can go to the top. Nope. Okay, he only accepts glasses then. Go on. Oh, tisk tisk. You'll do. Okay, from what I'm gathering, every guardian only accepts or rejects one feature. So, for example, she rejects glasses, he accepts glasses, hence why the only people on this side are the people who have glasses. <laughs> Likewise, he only accepts spiky hair. Okay, never mind. So it's not each one has two features. Splendid it's job. essentially there are two features that Zobini has to fulfill in order to get into one of these caverns. So every one of these guardians accepts or rejects one feature for a grand total of two features that Zobini has to get past to get through. Hey, don't forget to write. When it comes to these finicky eaters, one troll's poison is another troll's pizza. And now the pizza minigame gets a lot more interesting. Oh, come on, pizza. You know I love you. <laughs> I'm starving! There are two trolls now. Pizza Pass, level 2. Arno and Willa will let the Zumbinis pass if you make a special pizza and sundae for each of them. Any topping Arno likes, Willa does not. For example, if Arno likes pepperoni, Willa will not. If a pizza has a topping that Arno and Willa hate, they'll throw it into the reject pit. They'll throw pizzas missing one or more of their favorite toppings onto their rocks. Try making Arno's pizza and sundae first before starting on Willa's, or vice versa. Build your toppings and be aware of what each troll likes and dislikes. Arno and Willa are finicky eaters and they won't necessarily like the same pizzas the next time you see them. So it's basically just more of the same, where you've got only four pizza toppings now, they've removed cheese, but now we've got two sundae toppings. So basically a grand total of six toppings now. Let's try pepperoni for starters. <laughs> Something's wrong! Alright, well, he likes pepperoni, and not- they won't necessarily want every topping. Like, there, there'll be some toppings that they made both hate. More toppings! 
There's something there I won't eat. I don't blame you, Willow. I, I'm not a fan of mushrooms. Yeah, so we have Arno, the almost omnivorous, and then Willow in. But she goes back, Willow. Something on that I don't like. That topping, not for me. Yep, yet. so they both don't like peppers, so they're throwing it in the pit. Come on! More stuff! That topping, no. Alright, well, who likes cherries? More! Oh, wow. There's something there I hate! Okay. So, Arno... ...likes all of that. We know that uh, Arno does not like whipped cream because we've tried every topping except whipped cream and she's rejected them all. So she literally just wants a pizza that whose sundae has whipped cream on it. So this will be Arno's pizza and then just whipped cream will be Willow's. Thank you, thank you. And Arno is even patient and doesn't start eating until Willa gets hers, which is very nice of him. Hmm. <laughs> well done! Yay! I love the way that those trolls eat their pizzas. It's hilarious. Pizza Pass is one of those games that just gets better every time you play it on a higher difficulty. And it never gets super difficult, which is nice. Challenging, but you did it. You are a bright one. Yes, you are. Uh, thank you. So now what I want to do is I want to check Zumbiniville and see if they've already erected a statue for the our troop who went through that on that difficulty, or if we have to actually make them get to Zumbiniville first. Cause I actually forget. Oh nope. It's okay, we have a brand new thing. This clock tower was constructed for the Zumbinis, who braved blustery bridges, outsmarted Onyx's stone-faced crew, and won over Willowman, the pizza-eating troll, when traveling was oh so hard. April 6th, 2018. Excellent. Pretty cool. So that's where we're going to leave the episode off for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We'll actually be going through the Mountains of Despair on the higher difficulty. Because there's a fork in the road here and you don't go through these each time, you will not reach the same difficulty of these as quickly as you will of here. So for example, we have to go through the Big, the Bad, and the Hungry and the Mountains of Despair every single playthrough. But we only choose one of these in each playthrough, and you need to beat every world three times before it increases in difficulty. So at this point, I have beaten the uh, Deep Dark Forest twice, so if we do it again, it'll increase in difficulty, but we've only done Who's By You once. So be prepared to see videos of the Big, the Bad, and the Hungry, and the Mountains of Despair on like the highest difficulties before we even get into the higher difficulties of Who's By You. So that's all I'm going to do. Then in between episodes, I'm going to take these and bees along the deep dark forest. So in my next playthrough, I can show off this on the higher difficulty. Hope to see you then. Have a great day and God bless.